Just asked you a few questions about your experience at E3. I don't know. Maybe. Do you consider yourself a pretty big gamer? Uh, no. I don't know. Yes. What's your favorite game? I don't know. This one? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Diablo. I, I played Diablo 3 last night. It was awesome. It was super fun. Yeah. Well, I only play in hardcore mode when protecting the Black Soul Stone. So, wouldn't really call it super fun as much as it is the most intense thing of all time. I don't know. What's your favorite part about gaming? I don't know. It's just, it's like the escape. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely see that, you know, just kind of a break from reality for a little bit, you know, travel to distant lands, definitely. Yeah, it's just like going to other worlds, you know, like, like other dimensions where you aren't rejected all the time. I don't know. I don't know, like other worlds where your dad still sees you as his own. Maybe I'm not Mark who works at Arby's. Maybe I'm Onyx, the fortuitous slayer of the Bright Realm. I don't know. What are you looking forward to most at E3? I don't know. Not being alone? I don't know. Not shaming myself in the basement, getting drunk off tiny wines? It's great to get out here, meet other gamers, connect with people that you share Because it's like I fear death, but also I long for it. How long would you wait in line to play a game? I don't know. All day? You're never alone if you're in a line. I don't know. Always a few random creepers. I mean, there are a few people who kind of, you know, lurk, but don't say much, and then all of a sudden they're like back. It's like a paradigm shift, you know? Maybe we're not in Los Angeles at all. Maybe we're in New Tristram, or maybe we're in Kalimdor. Maybe you're not a pretty girl talking to me and making me nervous with her witch doctor eyes and red raven's mane. Maybe you're a pandaren princess asking me to retire with her to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and if I could only get the guts to say yes, I'd experience what it's like to be inside of a union where for once trust is given and trust is returned, where nothing can be broken, where nothing can be taken without first being given before the nightshade comes and takes us all back to the black and filthy muck and mire where death lives and beauty doesn't stand a chance. I don't know. Watchdogs look pretty cool.